In its annual report, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has confirmed that it has launched the design and development of Hindustan Lead in Fighter Trainer 42, that will be based on the Tejas Trainer Airframe, and will bridge the gap in pilot training to command frontline fighters. It will feature a wide area display, side stick controller, helmet mounted display, active electronically scanned array radar, and in flight refueling probe for advanced training. With the help of customized mission control software, the Hindustan lead-in fighter trainer will be able to mimic the control and flight pattern of any other modern fighter jets like Rafale and Su-30. The Hindustan lead-in fighter trainer has also been offered to the Royal Australian Air Force, in response to the request for information from the Australian Department of Defence. Mazagin Dock Limited has completed the design of Midget Submarine, and is all set to start prototype construction, which will be an advanced smaller sized submarine, and based on payloads and sensors, it can be used for performing a variety of applications such as special operations, mine countermeasures, anti-submarine anti-surface warfare and strike missions. It can weigh between 45 to 50 tons, with an endurance of 12,000 kilometers, and can be operational for several months on a single fuel module. Armored Vehicles Negum Limited has successfully indigenized the electric motor ED-76, that is used in T-90 tank, and this indigenization effort will result in savings of around 3 crore rupees annually. Engine factory Avadi had also completed the last phase of trials of the indigenously overhauled V92S2 engine of T90 tank recently, without any technology transfer from Russia. The annual report of Hindustan Aeronautics mentions that the preliminary design phase of the Indian multi-role helicopter is under progress, and HAL has completed phase 1 of wind tunnel testing with satisfactory results and phase 2 of wind tunnel testing is currently under progress. The report also mentions that a technology demonstrator of the HTFE 25 engine for UAV applications has been built, and it has achieved acceleration trials up to 55% of the speed. The first technology demonstrator of the HTSE 1200 turboshaft engine to power helicopters of 6-ton category, has achieved 100% speed run on core engine, and sea level trials of core engine has been completed successfully. Hindustan Aeronautics has said that it has integrated and flown lithium main battery on HTT-40 trainer, making it the first time in the continent for using lithium battery for military aviation. Lithium-ion batteries have been through extensive tests, and it has replaced the heavier nickel-cadmium batteries on the HTT-40 aircraft. Tato Advanced Systems Limited has announced that it has started delivering high-mobility platforms such as tactical and combat support trucks to the African Defense Forces. These trucks are customized as per military requirements, and can also carry troops and ammunition and other combat support equipment. Tatu has also bagged an order for 600 military trucks from the Royal Thailand Army, and the company is now focusing on exporting a range of specialized defense vehicles to South Asian and African nations. India will dispatch four Su-30 fighter jets one C-17 strategic airlifter and an IL-78 mid-air refueling aircraft for the pitch black air combat exercise, that will be hosted by Australia from 19 August to 6 September. It will see participation of around 100 aircraft and 2,500 military personnel from 17 nations. <laughs> Oh, my God.